This is something I see a fair bit of, from time to time. Triggered dog defenders trying to tell us that we are arguing based on emotions, that we rely on appeals to emotion, as if that's inherently a bad thing, and all the rest of it. Like this commenter, who said to me, Nope, you would rather argue with emotions like a true child. Imagine claiming that I quote, argue with emotions when you are the one trying to say I have no sympathy and kindness. What? In your pathetic fever dreams. Do you imagine sympathy and kindness are rooted in, if not emotion? So on the one hand, you're trying to say that I argue from emotions, as if that's wrong on its face. But you are the same contemptible cretin who's simultaneously telling me I am not emotionally invested enough in the welfare of these garbage so-called animals. So which one is it? Is it good, or is it bad, to argue from emotions? I'll bet you can't answer that question. Furthermore, my problem is not that I lack sympathy and kindness. That is your problem. I mean, this is how you respond to me saying that if you actively work to repeal pitbull bans, you're in favour of seeing humans and animals needlessly suffer. After all, let's not play stupid. We know for a fact that pit bulls in the real world kill tons of animals and attack humans with more frequency than most other dogs. But here is the nail in your coffin. If a plan were proposed to cull all pit bulls in the interest of public safety, what would be the basis of your counter-argument? Logic or emotions? You know damn well that you would argue against this measure purely based on your misplaced emotions for a predatory carcass scavenging man-made killer. One that attacks your own species frequently enough to warrant notice. Yeah, I've been on my job, I'm ripping apart, the bitches who talk. Shit, I'm picking 